Hello everyone and welcome to the 22nd day of our Redstone Advent Calendar. Yes, it is getting closer and closer. But what I have for you in this video isn't a contraption that I really have a use for, to be fair. It's a redstone mechanic that I kind of discovered when messing around trying to design a mob farm. And I really wanted to share it with all of you. And with these bite-sized redstone videos, I kind of have that excuse to do so. But I do want to put it out there. For those of you redstoners watching this video that are like, aha, I've got a use for this, please do share it with us in the comments down below because I would love to find a practical use for this. I think it's really cool. And as the name suggests, there is a way to bypass a redstone signal. So the idea here is that we have a powered wire that runs across here and it's powering all of our comparators. We can see that because the lights are on. So when we press this button here and turn off this torch, we're actually going to turn off the comparator as well even though that wire there is still powered, which is interesting behavior, and it's caused because of this um, dropper back here. So I don't know when this would ever be useful, but it's definitely a useful thing to know about. So I'm gonna explain a little bit more about what's going on here. If we have a comparator at the end here and we activate this one, you can see that this time it stays on. And that's because when the signal isn't at the highest strength, it seems to look then for an inventory. So this isn't going to look for an inventory until that isn't the highest signal strength. So I could uh, remove this torch and that one as well. And then you see they're looking for what's ever behind them. So let's say we extend this out a little bit. Just put down some wires here so you can see that they are actually looking into this inventory. And then you can actually get... Um, the signal strength of that inventory as well. So this could be even more useful if you want to press a button here and change it from the fullest signal strength, which you currently have, and you just want to downgrade it by a couple of notches, you could press that and then with a certain amount of items in here you could redefine the signal strength as well. It's a really curious little mechanic and I don't think there's anything too much more to it. Like I said, I found this when I was messing around with a mob farm design and uh, and yeah, it's a really cool little thing. I just don't have a practical use for it at this moment. So I know you don't need a tutorial, but here is a side-on view. And I also wanted to mention that this works with any type of container. Let's press the button over here. You can see it works with a hopper. In fact, if we just remove that torch, you can see uh, we can place it, remove it over there. It turns off, it turns on. You can use this with any container type, so it's not just droppers. And this gave me an inkling of an idea for a trap, but I'm not sure. Just something about being able to place a chest and then activate a, a redstone signal I found kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, that's it from me this video. Do hope you have enjoyed it. And if you find a practical use for this, of course, be sure to let me know with a comment down below as I really like this little mechanic. I just couldn't figure out exactly when and where would be a good place to use it. Uh, but there you go. That's it. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.